Hello again everybody, Boyd back with you, and I'm uh, making this first video to show you guys we're starting off on the Nomad build as promised. Um, I've been working on this guy here just a little bit this afternoon and making some pretty good progress, you guys. I just wanted to show you what I'm working on here first. The main part of this build is uh, mainly just kind of getting these parts cleaned up. And I'm not sure how good my little camera is going to pick this up, but what I'm working on here first, you guys, is um, we've got these, you know, this was a 3D printed part. It was done with a filament type printer. So what you get is you get these little uh, styrations, they're called. You get these little lines in the on the surface here, and you get, um, we've got these nice little grills that are supposed to be on Nomad here, which are going to be um, shining some light through them at the end of the build here with his voice and his kind of mechanical, you know, movement down there at the bottom. But uh, you can see these holes are not perfect, you guys. They're kind of, you know, they're kind of rough around the edges, and they're not exactly circular. You can kind of see it more on these smaller ones down here. So what I've been doing first off here is I've been going through with my drill. I picked out a couple of drill bits and um, got the size exactly where it should be, and I'm drilling these out. And then I'm coming back with a hobby knife and cleaning up the edges. And then uh, usually what happens, you guys, is when you get a little bit of that, you know, you do this kind of thing on plastic, you get a little bit of those tiny little slivers left in there. So I'm just taking a paintbrush, uh, dipped in some lacquer thinner, and just going around and brushing it in these holes, and that's melting all that little, you know, jagged edge look that you get, and slowly getting these cleaned up. And then uh, the next step that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my orbital sander here with some uh, 180 grit paper, and we're going to lay this down, and we're going to go over this uh, these flat surfaces here. This particular prop or model is uh, these big flat panels on Nomad here were like a sort of like an aluminum finish so we're, I'm gonna have to get that fairly smooth so that the uh, bright metallic finish looks you know nice on there um, these edges and everything it's gonna be hard to get down on these little nooks and crannies but I'm gonna do that a lot of that sanding by hand um, but these little panels on the edge are are sort of a gray and I started painting a little bit here just to see what color I was gonna use and it turns out this high build um, dark gray primer that I'm use, going to be using on this here is the exact right color for them. So I'll be spraying them all down with primer, getting them all sanded and smooth. We're going to paint these big flat panels like an aluminum and leave the corners here this gray. And uh, I'll finish off all the gray areas with some uh, satin clear coat over the top of the primer and it'll look really, really good. It'll look just like it did on the TV show, but a couple of these panels I've still got to go yet here as far as the drilling. But uh, it's already looking a lot better, like you can see in this little area right here. It looks a lot more clean and got these smaller holes drilled out. So I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod here, and I'll show you doing a little bit of the sanding, and we'll uh, keep moving forward with this. This is not going to be a really lengthy build. probably take maybe, maybe three or four or five episodes, and we'll wrap this up. But it's going to have lighting and sound effects in it by the time we're done, too. And this is really impressive. It's going to you know, be really close to the... Um, full-size prop. I think it's just a tiny fraction of a scale under the the uh, actual full-size prop, but it's uh, pretty darn close, and it's a really cool kit. So let's get moving, guys. I'll be right back with uh, sanding on the uh, Nomad's body here and getting it all smoothed out. All right, so I'm slowly making some progress here, you guys. I'll uh, catch up with what I've been doing. I uh, started off by sanding all four of these flat surfaces here, these big panels on each side. I've been using my uh, air powered DA sander here with some 180 grit paper, just keeping it really flat. I lay this thing on its side and just keep it really flat and just work my way back and forth. And um, I want to say that this um, this PLA plastic that they use to print this 3D printing uh, part here, it's some really, really hard plastic. You guys that work with this stuff probably know what I mean. It doesn't even like to sand very well. Um, you don't hardly see any kind of dust coming off of it or anything. It's not really putting any scratch marks in it which, you know, 180 grit's usually pretty aggressive. Uh, but it is working it out. I'm just trying to work out these little styration marks that we were talking about, you guys, that are on these, you know, huge 3D uh, printed parts have been, that have been printed with a filament type printer like this. And we're going to be spraying these main flat panels here in a nice silver to give a nice aluminum look, and we don't want to have any kind of imperfection there. Now, the little stuff going on in these little ribbed areas and stuff, you can't really see it. And the primer... The high build primer that I'm using is going to um, fill a lot of that in, so I'm not really worried about that. These are these little corner panels here are painted in the same kind of gray color as his overall body on the top, so it doesn't show the imperfections like it will with these surfaces. So that's the main thing I'm working on. I've got this one pretty well worked out. Um, what I did is I sanded it all the way down as best as I could, and then I'm putting one coat of this high build primer 
um, from Duplicolor here. This is the uh, automotive application stuff, but it works fine on plastic. And it, it's extra thick. It's a little thicker than regular primer. So it's probably taking about two or three coats of this stuff. So I spray it on here. I wait for it to dry. Then I block sand that down with some uh, 320 and, you know, just kind of knock off the high spots again. And then I'll put another coat and then let that dry and repeat. And then eventually it'll, you know, bury all of that uh, imperfection there. Now, one thing that would work really good for something like this, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody out there has tried it, but in my mind, you could fix something up like this real quick with just some regular uh, automotive 2K clear. Like maybe put down one coat of primer on this and then uh, don't even bother sanding it or anything and just spray that on there. Maybe one or two coats of that and it would completely have this thing perfectly smooth because you're not really, you know, that stuff's kind of thick. And it stays that way when it dries. And um, then you could sand it after that if you want to and then apply your, you know, your color over the top of it. But uh, that stuff uh, would work great for something like this because you're not worried about like on a small little model car or something uh, that you're putting on the clear so thick that you're going to bury all the detail, even some of the little body lines and stuff. But on something like this, it would work awesome. Um, just a little shot of that. But... Uh, uh, Right now I'm spraying inside and everything, and I'd have to take this outside to spray that much of that clear. Um, I don't have enough ventilation in here for that. but So we're going about it the old-fashioned way, but it's it's coming around just the same. Just kind of pointing out a different, easier way you could probably do this. And it, uh, you know, I don't want to make it sound bad at all either, you guys. This part actually looks really good. For something this big, um, the print on this is actually really, really nice. But this is just something you have to work with. And again, we're painting a certain color on here that we have to make sure it looks really good so i'm going to uh continue doing my little thing here get this all worked away then i'm going to come back and show you guys the final little uh, steps here where we're going to do some nice painting and start uh, making this look nice we'll paint the silver on the main panels here and do the little side accent panels and then we should have his uh his main body looking really good here after that drilling and everything it's really coming out nice so let me show you the good side here one more time uh, you can kind of see the difference let me to show you right here you can see up close if you can see those holes they're they're looking a lot better after they were drilled but they'll clean up even more with my sanding but you can see what I'm talking about right in here kind of some imperfections and then over on this side where we've got it ready to go let me kind of get it in the light here a little bit you can see it looks a whole lot better it's it's nice and smooth one more sand with 600 and it'll be ready for paint and then I'll just make sure all my little holes here are nice and clean and all that and uh, we've got some really cool little light panels that, you know, go in behind this that get glued in and that are the, the right colors for all this. So we can just put regular white, warm white lighting on the inside of this and all the colors will come through different like they're supposed to. So that's another neat little part about this kit. But I'm having a lot of fun with it so far, you guys. Be right back with some uh, painting on this thing. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm here to show you a little bit more progress on Nomad here. I've been starting to do a little bit of the paint work. I pretty much got most of the center section done. I'm working on the top and the bottom now. I decided to mock him all up and see how he looked all stacked up. And this thing is huge. It's about 40 inches tall when it's all put together. So it's a massive model. And it's uh, really impressive to look at here in the shop. I'm really pleased with it. But uh, things are coming out really good on the paint area. This thing used up a, a, an entire can of my high build primer already. So I got to go over and get another can of that. Because I'm going to be continuing to get the top part here and the bottom part down there smoothed out a little bit more to get rid of some of those styration marks but it's coming along really nice I just uh, sprayed some light silver on the top there to see how it was going to look and I've got some more cleanup work to do on that and on his little antenna there's these tiny little specks in there from left over from the molding and all that and I'll get that all sanded smooth and everything I just want to put some paint on there so all that would show up and I could see how it was going to look but I'll just kind of move him around here a little bit and show you the sheen that we've got on his um, on his body with the silver. I'm using this uh, Duplicolor Perfect Match Bright Silver. I really like this stuff because it's um, it dries with a really nice hard shell, almost like a ceramic kind of a shell. It won't scratch easy and it won't fingerprint and it dries really, really fast. And you, you get a nice um, silver sheen on here, like an aluminum kind of finish. And I really like that. Now, when I worked on this, I didn't remove all of that styration on these panels because Nomad had these like sort of machined aluminum surfaces on his body there, and you could tell that they weren't perfect. You could see some little, you know, machine lines in that and everything. So I decided to leave a little bit of that there, but we got that nice metallic finish, and then um, 
you know, I'm really happy with that. I, I got a couple little slivers in these holes that I drilled that I got to clean out too. The silver made that show up. But uh, we'll get it all cleaned up and looking a lot better. I have to, like I said, go get another can of primer and all that. Um, so probably another day or two I'll have the paintwork all done on this. And then uh, I'll be putting on the rest of the little Greeley details. And then we're going to be working on the interior and the lighting. I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do with that. And uh, the sound effects and everything. So... We'll be back with another update on this, but it's moving along really nicely, you guys. I'm really happy with it so far, and it's going to turn out really, really cool when it's done. I think I'm going to set this up on a remote with some sound and everything. Uh, this is for my client, Bobby, and he requested also that he wanted a little bit of a blue glow uh, coming out from the top part here, kind of casting down. So I put some blue LED strip up in here, and that'll be a neat little effect that I'll show you guys a little bit later on. It's not canon, but I, I, I actually think it's going to add something really cool to this in it. Kind of something they might have done if they had the money and the time back then, but uh, uh, I just think it adds a little bit more, you know, futuristic look to it. And uh, so that's going to turn out really cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'll be back with another update on this maybe early next week, and we'll be moving farther along. I'm going to talk to Ralph at Tenant Controls about a board for this and everything and figure out what we want to do. I've got all my sound effects worked out from... Uh, an earlier smaller build that I did of this where I've got all the voice tracks and the sound effects and everything so that won't be a problem and uh, just kind of going over in my head what I want to do for the lighting we've got to put a bulkhead inside of here to separate the top and the bottom so that we don't get light bleed because the bottom's supposed to be all green and these two panels on the top are are lit up in red and yellow that flash whenever he's talking and all that so but we'll get all that worked out I hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, Again, we'll be back with another update in the next couple days, and then between now and then, another update on the Enterprise Refit. I'm a busy guy out here in the shop, you guys. We'll see you next time, everybody. Take care, and happy modeling.